Well, it's never easy to lose a lot of weight, but losing almost half of your body weight has to be incredibly difficult, especially if you do it, as they say, the old-fashioned way. Dr. Sanjay Gupta is here now with one woman's uplifting story. We say the old-fashioned way because a lot of people do surgical uh, means now as well to lose large amounts of weight. That's correct. And this, this woman's story is truly uplifting. She, she wanted to ride in a hot air balloon her, her entire life, and then she got there and they, they turned her away. Not because she weighed too much, because she was physically too big. So it was that moment, that moment that we talk about so much with these Fit Nation segments. This is a story that is really going to make people feel good. Take a look. Karen Daniels in a hot air balloon thousands of feet in the air above the Arizona desert. Who would have thought? Certainly not her. I was, I was 67 inches around on my butt and 65 inches tall. So I was two inches wider around than tall. So I think, I, I don't know. I think I'd be pretty, I'd probably feel bad. Two years ago, her fitness trainer, Bill Crawford, remembers seeing a woman in desperate need of help. When Karen first walked in the door, she weighed 375 pounds, and she could barely make it from the car to the front door. And I knew that just making it to the front door of a fitness center, someone that presented like Karen was a big deal. After a strict diet and a grueling workout routine, she's now 200 pounds lighter and it was time for Karen to live out her dream. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. And she allowed us to come along for the ride. So, can't even get a good picture. so neat. It's so, words can't even describe this. I dedicated and committed myself that I was gonna change my life. And every ounce of sweat, every ounce of pain, every crying session, is worth a hundred times that. A life-changing adventure in so many ways. If they came out with a pill uh, a today, a would I go back in time yeah. and take that pill? Like, you know, to lose the weight? And I honestly don't think I would because I've learned so much. Karen hopes to lose 50 more pounds. And when she does, watch out. She'll be taking to the skies again. This time, in a helicopter. So worth it. So worth it. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing story. I love stories like that. She's done a 32-foot ropes course. She's been on a biplane with her daughter. Uh, this is a woman who's made some amazing changes in her life. Opens up a whole new world, doesn't really it, does. when you're able to do that type of stuff. Now, she's going to be here in New York for the second annual Fit Nation Summit. What's she doing? That's great. I mean, we're, we're very excited about the summit. She, she actually, what she decided to do is she's going to start off on the ground floor of this building, and she's going to walk all the way up to the top, 55 flights of stairs uh pretty amazing we're gonna meet her at the top we'll take the elevator but we're gonna try and film a lot of that uh but you know the fit nation summit is something we've been doing for some time you know last year uh, president clinton joined us to talk about real solutions as much as we do these pieces for your show uh we also want to talk about solutions this year we're going to have three other guests as well and we really have a theme this year about uh, rachel ray is going to join us tonight talking about diet and the role of food uh jillian michaels from nbc's biggest losers is going to talk about lifestyle changes and somebody i've grown to admire eric Shanto, an olympic swimmer is going to talk about exercise and how to incorporate it into your life even if you're not an olympic athlete well, so and the good news is when you see people like karen it's 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 like that that's me and if she can do it i can do it so it's nice to draw inspiration from people i mean it takes a lot of guts to walk into a gym we wanted to develop on-air partners for all of your viewers at home uh people look at people and say look they, they did it uh it's a source of inspiration for them as well sounds great thanks Sanjay. thank you